All right, folks, today Dale is going to show you how you can make your own Twitch emote for free. Actually, emotes, I should pluralize it because you can sit there and make these emotes till the cows come home as long as you follow his steps and the tips that he's going to give you. And not only that, not only are you gonna be able to make these Twitch affiliate emotes for free, but the program he's gonna show you is also for free. That's right, you don't double free. To buy it. Yep, double free. You double free. <laughs> double bubble. <laughs> you don't need to go out and pluck a bunch of money down on Photoshop and spend hours and hours learning this. And actually, Dale, I, I think you've told me before, GIMP is pretty close to, if, so if you've used Photoshop mm -hmm. before, the, the concepts are pretty darn close. There's parallels. And, yeah, but before Dale, before you jump right in, I know Dale. Dale's eager to do that. He has a lot of work on his plate, so we're not going to keep him long. But uh, he's going to show us how to make these Twitch emotes. But streamers, if you missed the past two live streams and the condensed video, yes, that's right. We sent it to our editors. They condensed down those two live streams into one video just for you. Actually did a great job. Be sure to check them out. And if you have $5 in your pocket, that's because you know what? If you have $5, that's great because that's all it will cost you. If you check out these Fiverr artists that we found, we found on Fiverr that we thought we were throwing them a curveball. And actually, that's why you have to go back and watch the live stream or the condensed video. And you'll they see smoked. I'm talking about. Yes, they actually did awesome. As a matter of fact, the one who kind of missed the uh, hit on that last curveball we threw, it was still funny. So either way, they all hit home runs in our books. Or you might want to skip that all together and find your own artist by using our affiliate link, which is livestreamatech.com forward slash emote 2022. That's right. Dale switched it up on me, but livestreamatech.com emote 2022. That is our affiliate link with Fiverr. Uh, we graciously appreciate it because it helps support the channel and it's no extra cost to you. Also, if you want to grab the free image resource guide, to go along with this tutorial that Dale is going to uh, show you here real quick, you can go to livestreamingtech.com forward slash guide. That's right, livestreamingtech.com forward slash guide. Take it away, Dale. All right, yeah, you're going to need that guide, but if you can't figure out that guide or whatever, literally all you need to go to is someplace like uh, Pixabay or anywhere that gives you Creative Commons images. 100% free, attribution free. It's 100% safe. I've never had issues. I've heard some nightmare stories, but for Twitch emotes, nah, you're, you're not going to have an issue. So let's go over to roll this beautiful bean footage, if you will. Uh, so now I've got this screen here. And before we jump into this, to get the GNU image manipulation program, it's 100% free. Just simply search up gimp.org forward slash download, and you'll download Download that for yourself ahead of time so that way you know what is going on um, really love me some GIMP there's a little bit of a steep learning curve if you're brand new to this I am gonna just strip it down super basic for you now I've already downloaded these images from Pixabay all right so we are already set again Pixabay p-i-x-a-b-a-y is what you're gonna be looking for you could just search about here's one of the greatest ways you could do let's say for instance you want to find a goat Let's search up goats. It'll pull up different images of goats. If you're wanting something that's a little bit more like a cartoon or an illustration, you can choose vector graphics or, of course, illustrations. Those are typically the things you're going to want to use for it. The beauty of a lot of what Pixabay has here is you will find some PNG images with the transparent background. So as you see here on the screen, there's that checkered background, right? Well, you notice that? Yep. That yep, means I always look for those because I'm lazy. <laughs> it is blank. Now, now, don't be fooled. There are sometimes some PNG images you're going to try to pull off Google. It'll have that checkered background, but it doesn't mean transparency. It's because and they, I've done that. <laughs> it's because they that. suck. Uh, so that's why you don't go to Google to get your images because you're just going to have nothing but trouble. So anyway, I already got my images and I know exactly what I want to shoot for. Please don't judge me based on what I ended up choosing. I want to put together two <laughs> images as one. Now, keep awesome. in mind, in order to actually have your Twitch emote work, Work, you're going to need to make sure that it is a square format. So all I'm going to do is I want to have this banana. We're going to put the banana down. I dragged and dropped it onto the surface and I'm going to drag and drop the monkey onto the surface. All right. So it's a little bit of a mess right now. Let's let's just admit it. That's fine. So here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into image and then I'm going to go ahead and hit 
fit canvas to layers. So I see entirely what's going on here. Now, as you can see, Walt, like this, this doesn't look good. Like I want the banana to coexist with the monkey. So mm -hmm. why don't we see about, we're gonna shut off this monkey layer. I just hit that little eyeball. I'm gonna come over here onto the banana layer. Let's resize him. Cause I just don't think it's gonna be very possible for him to, you know, be that large compared to the monkey. So I'm gonna hit shift S so I can actually change the shape. So that shift S as in save yeah, so, or scale in this instance. So I'm gonna hit right. scale, boom. Let's turn back on that monkey. Now I'm gonna move this banana up. So we're selected on this layer and I'm gonna hit the up arrow. And it should at this point, move it on up as you noticed. M will get it to where I can move. Now keep in mind, all these tools are on the left-hand side, but I'm gonna give you guys the shortcut so it's super easy. There we go. See, that's what I'm talking about. See, like the bananas and monkeys in harmony right now. I mean, can't you feel it, Walt? Yep. So, all right, here's what we're going to do next. We need to make sure this is a square format. So all I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to merge this down. Under normal circumstances, when I'm not doing a screen share, I would actually put the two inside of a folder. But for whatever reason, screen share does not allow me to do this. Folks, it's free software, so we can't bitch about it. But what I would say is use drag and drop those into your folder and keep them separate. So that way, if you want to tweak it later on, you can. But for the sake of this tutorial and the fact that I am limited, I'm gonna merge down this layer. So this is little button here in the bottom right-hand corner. Do you see that there, Walt? Yep. All right, so we've got them merged down. I'm gonna right-click on it, hit alpha to selection, and now we're gonna come back up to layer again. And all I'm gonna do is I wanna make sure, excuse me, up to image, we're gonna go ahead and fit canvas to selection. So you see how it's a nice snug fit? It's a little bit closer to an actual square. So we're almost there here, folks. Our next step is going to be looking at the very top here. If you see at the top here, Walt, I'm not sure if you can notice here, that it says 1161 by 1292. We need yeah. to get this one equaled out because if you try to upload this to Twitch, they'll shoot it right back to you. It down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you're going to want to make sure it is square. So we're going to go into image canvas size. And yeah. all we need to do is change this 1292. So it equals the one down here. Now, if this chain is not deselected, if it's, if it's done here like this, it will just change proportionately. We want to make sure they're deselected. So that way it's, can get it to where we can manipulate it differently on the width versus the height. All right, now the next thing is I'm gonna hit center because let's just center it out. We don't wanna look all goofy. So yeah. here we go, we're set to go, hit resize, boom. This is great. So let's just pretend I am happy with this. I'm ready to go ahead and export this. Now, uh, when it comes to resizing, I can't remember the size that you're supposed to submit with a Twitch off the top of my head. Walt, can you remember that? Uh, let me look real quick. Here. I'll get you to go ahead and search that up. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, because see, on, on YouTube, when you have the channel memberships, the well, emotes over there. You just have to have the one size. You yeah. just have to have the one size now. Because they resize Twitch. all yes. of it. Yeah. Yes. Because okay. back when you and I first did it, uh, it's uh, 112 by 112. So we've got 112 by 112. So all we're going to do is, before you do this, hit Control S to save. Save your document so that way if for some reason something is wrong, you can always come back and fix it or if you want to update it or make an upgrade of some sort, you've got it available. So I'm just going to hit save. Great. We've got this all set. Now, here's the little trick, Walt. It's where you got to pay closest attention here is you hit control shift in the letter E to export it because we want to make sure it exports into a PNG file. It cannot be yeah. a JPEG, it cannot yeah. be a PDF. Pay attention to what the file is right here, because if that file says anything other than PNG, you need to change it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put monkey banana, emote, PNG, great. And that's how we end up exporting. But since we know for sure that we're going to go ahead and get it down to 112, you see how that chain link is right there again, Walt? Yep. 112, boom, scale. Control Shift E, we'll export it. Banana Monkey, as you remember, dot PNG. If it says anything else, change it to PNG. All right, we're gonna hit export and it is ready to rock and roll and upload over to Twitch's platform. All right, 
if you ever want to do anything and undo it, just hit Control Z to Control undo. Control Z, I know that one. Yep. <laughs> and then I do a lot of Control Zs. <laughs> don't forget to hit save on this one. Now, dude, this was so easy. Like, honestly, people can do this in their sleep. This is something I believe just about anyone can create because the transparent background. But I know there's some people that get really, really hung up because they want to have that transparent background and it's not giving it to them. So yeah. let's go ahead and close this out. I've got a wrestling figure I'm going to drop onto here. I really like the luchador here. This, dude, he's awesome. Like, honestly. So here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my shape tool on the top left-hand corner. It's the rectangle select tool. I'll left click on that. If you don't see that, right click on it and you'll be able to left click on it. Now I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop right layer there, right there. So you see it's highlighted. We're going to yeah. snug it up because the less that we have to cut away, the easier our uh, job will be. Yeah. yeah. All right. So get rid of all that trash. Yeah, exactly. So here we go. We've got it all down here because I just want the luchador. That's that's all yeah. I really want. All right, yep. we're going to go ahead on image. We left click on fit canvas to selection. In fact, we can even clip the rest of this if we go into, bear with me here, crop to selection. So we just removed all of that stuff on the outside. We don't have to worry about it anymore. If you don't clip that outside there, it's fine. But sometimes if you got to move things, the rest of that picture moves with you and you don't want that to happen. All right, as you notice, we're still highlighted. I don't need this highlighted at the moment, so I'm gonna press Control, Shift, and the letter A to deselect all. If you guys don't Control, remember shift all these- Control, Shift, A then, right? Yep. Control, Shift, Control, A? Shift okay. A will deselect all of that that we just did. Okay. And by the way, there's more than one way to skin a cat in GIMP, to be honest with you. There's probably two or three ways you can end up doing this. But this is probably the quickest way, right? Yeah, yeah, I like it. So, all right, I want to remove this background, but I want to keep this stroke on the very outside of this. This makes yeah. life easy. You're going to press the letter, oh, give me a second, U. You as an <laughs> underwear, all right? all right? The letter right. U is going to allow me to pull up the magic, magic fuzzy wand tool type thing. And all we're going to do is, I'm just going to scroll in, by the way. You can do this. I don't know if you know this little trick. If you've got a scroll wheel on your mouse, press control and scroll in. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just and like then you would do it like on a web page. If you want to do that as well, it goes side to side. You just press shift and then you could be able to use the scroll wheel as well. All right. All right. Got, got you that little secret right there. I knew you would enjoy that. All right, we've got the highlighter. All I want to hit is this stroke at this point. But the problem is, what's going to happen is, it's going to create this and it's going to get it to where it pulls the blue, but it's going to erase the guy as well. So I'm going to duplicate these layers, Okay. but we're going to shut off the bottom layer because we're going to come back and get that guy in just a second. All we're going to do is hit Control i to invert and then we're going to hit delete before we do that though we have to confirm this is the part that everybody gets stuck on is you have to add alpha to images a lot of images need alpha selection so okay. we have alpha on this one it was already built into this png so we don't need to worry about it but in the but event if it don't yeah if yeah. you see it's if you see this is white that means you need to add it so at any rate, we've got the alpha to selection already since we're already highlighted. I already inverted the text. All we have to do is hit delete and you see it pulled out that background. Nice. Hey, nice. pop quiz. How do we deselect all? Uh, control, control shift A. So or control, control shift, shift A. Darn all right. it. <laughs> you were so close. You were so close. No, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Control D. <laughs> right, right, exactly. I almost said Control Z, and I was like, no, wait. that So me. I'm going to go back to highlighting this. I'm going to show you another trick here. So you see my color palette on the left-hand side here. I've got black and white. It's always you can de, you know, default over to this, and this is what I use quite a bit, especially when making masks. We need to make a mask and not a luchador mask to be confused about here. Right. So in the event you want to change out colors, you can always hit that color palette. But in this instance, we're going to go ahead and use white. So it is considered the background color because you see it's on the back of the palette here. I'm gonna right. hit control period to make it white. Now you notice, oh man, that's not really what I was shooting for, but good news, well, we, 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 we got this here. All so right. all we gotta do is undo. I'm gonna hit invert again because I want the blue to turn white. Here we go. So okay. control period will do that. Nice. Okay. Let's control get that. Period. 
fuzzy wand. We're going to click in the middle here of the luchador and we're going to fill it with white color again. Control period. Boom. Ah, okay. Okay, you see that? We've just made ourselves a little bit of a mask. Now let's click on the outside. We're going to invert it and we're going to make sure every last bit of that area is white because sometimes there's a little bit of, you know, uh, small issues and pixels that don't quite fill. You want to make sure it's fully filled at this point. All right, okay. we're going to go ahead and hit invert again, control I, and then we're going to hit control comma. So you remember we did for the background color control period. Now we went into the foreground color of so black. black. So we hit okay. control comma, boom. Now this probably looks like a whole little, lot of nothing. Pop quiz, how do we deselect all? Control shift. A for all. <laughs> yeah, see, you got it, man. I'm looking at my keyboard. Okay, so we're, we've created this mask here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it. Control C when we're on this layer. We're done with this now. So just shut it off. Turn on the okay. original picture down here. Okay. Right click on it. Right. Add layer mask. Now a menu is going to pop up. We want white full opacity. So you remember we colored him all white here. It is for good reason because we want to keep him and the stroke on the outside, but we don't want the rest of that noise. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit add. All right. We've got the white here and then we mm -hmm. hit control V to paste kind of like what we do with everything else. You see that pretty yeah. neat, right? But yeah. it's a floating section. You need to actually apply it. So all you have to do is come down here. You see it's green for the anchor anchor. Uh -huh. Boom. It's done. Right. Now, the mask is not fully applied, but you can still export this with no issue. So the same thing as usual, control shift E, you would go ahead and name the file, make sure it's PNG, and PNG. then you're set to go. Now, but if you're a type A personality and you're a little OCD side and you really don't like seeing that mask here, right click yeah. on it. Oop, uh, come on, Dale. Right click on it. And all you have to do is hit apply layer mask. Boom. That mask oh, is gone okay. and it is officially set like that. I always recommend that you apply keep it. the mask. Yeah, apply the mask or at least keep a version of it without the mask. That way, if you come back later and you want to add want something to new, you could okay. be able to do that. So we right click, we add layer mask, and we've got it here and we've kept it here in the background here. That way, if we access this file later, we're good. So I'm going to hit save real quick. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got the wrestler. I've got the XCF file, which is only GIMP readable. And then, so next up, we got to export it. This is how we're going to, because the XCF file is only good for you. PNG yeah. is what's going to be good for Twitch. So we're going to go ahead and say wrestler. Of course, we would have to make sure the he squared away, right? Right. Yes. Ooh, yeah. excuse me. Yes. Good Good eye. Good eye. Uh, yes. No, 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 no. I figured you were skipping that part since we already went over that on the last No, one. no. But that's a good point. Well, let's, repetition yeah. is, is, is very important. So we went into image and we slipped into image canvas size. We hit center. Great. Yeah. Perfect. Now it's set. Uh, we would want, of course, move it down to 112. So that way it is uploadable to Twitch. So all we're going to do is we're going to go into image, scale image, 112, it's scale, yep. control shift E. We'll see about exporting it. Remember E for export, A for selecting all. See, I have a little bit of repetition. We're going to hit export and boom. Done. So we've got this one done. I always undo whenever I shrink because I like having a large file. That way, if I need that to go way, back. That way, if you go back into work. Yep. Yeah, yep. always work Honestly, with the larger yeah. file if you can help it. The, the larger yep. the file is, the the nicer it's going to look. So let's close this out. We're going to do one more. That way, everybody really, wow, really gets it. bonus. So, bonus. So I'm going to drag and drop another one that we're going to have to really work on. So, all right. So we're gamers. Oh, so. boy. You see, it's a little bit more intricate. And of course you see that light there is gonna probably play a little bit of fun and games with us. So here is what I'm gonna do. The very first thing is let's just get that rectangle cool and we're just gonna drag and over top of it. And we'll, by the way, we'll fix all this stuff to where it's square. Walt will remind me. All right, get canvas <laughs> to selection. Remember we can always go down here and we can also crop to selection. So that way we get rid of all that. Control shift A will deselect. All right. so. You're probably going, oh man, I really want to pull this background out. So all I got to do is hit the U key and then we click this right here. But you notice it's kind of not really doing what we want. You know, it's we're, we're I wanted to pull a little bit more. So what we're going to need to do is create a mask for something like this. 
could we yeah. technically get away with going here right click you know add the alpha channel the alpha channel is already added we could delete great that's oh. awesome we could well, run worked. with that we could run with that but what well, do we, we would have we would have to clean up between that little light source and then the cable of the uh correct yeah. in instances like that just highlight delete boom highlight oh, okay. delete boom things like wow. that's totally fine but why don't we see about using a mask again? Because I think okay. that this is one a tool that a lot of people are gonna enjoy, but we're gonna create it with the image itself. I'm gonna duplicate it with these little boxes in the bottom right-hand corner. All right, we're gonna just shut off that bottom one here. We're gonna work on this top one. We're gonna go into colors, desaturate, desaturate again. All right, we don't need to change anything here. Just leave it on luminance, that's totally fine. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here into colors again, and we're gonna go for brightness and contrast because I wanna have some extreme whites and some extreme blacks, if you can here. Okay, boom, okay, so it's disappearing a little bit, but that's okay, we're gonna kill a little bit of the light source. There we go. So it came almost down to the end. Now, my biggest issue on this one, Walt, is the fact that you can see it's probably going to end up making dude invisible here. But that's okay because we're going to hit okay. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this other layer, bring it back up here. And we just need to go through and highlight the areas that we're not seeing on this other one here. You see that? He's missing his hands, he's missing okay. his face things like that. I don't know if I want to have the glow of this stuff here, but we'll, we'll, we'll see in just a second. So I'm going to hit you for my fuzzy wand tool. Oh, we got to go on that top layer. Always remember that you need to be on the right layer. All right. Okay. So we've got this. We're going to come down to this layer control comma. We'll fill it. Now let's make sure that the TV popped up. Ah, you see that? How cool is that? All right. Let's get his face. Same All thing. Right. Boom. Select this layer control comma. We'll fill it with black. Again, turn it on, off, boom, 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 boom. Now, I'm gonna probably just go in with my pencil and fix that. So, um, we're gonna get that in just a moment. Let's get his hands, because I'm sure that would probably be a pain in the neck for us to do that. All right, we're gonna hit Control, comma. We filled it with the foreground. Again, coming to the top, left click, boom. Control, comma, fills it. Again, coming over here. It's rather tedious but it will pull for, it'll pull a really nice look. So uh, let's take a look here. All right, much better. See, I can work with this. Now let's go yeah. and get that pencil tool out. And this is the reason why I wanted to do the third one is because I want to make sure everybody understands that you could be able to use so many things at your disposal and always make sure you're on the right layer, by the way, if I didn't say that 20 times already. All right, boom. Okay. I'm just going to click. And by the way, I think I just, glossed over that the pencils up at the top left hand corner you just select that pencil and make sure on your tool options that you have the size reasonable you can always change it here so say for instance 25 is too large you can always hit 20. i don't worry about any of those other settings but if you want to change the brush you just click the brush that you want i always go for a hard brush all right um you know we're going to just do just a little bit more here on him and i want to get this screen kind of filled out so we're just going to just click on this here's the cool thing you want to see a quick trick here hit shift after you've clicked on the surface and it'll just drag right over top of it. Boom. Okay. Boom. So that way, if you go too far, then Boom. you can just hit control Z. Exactly. Right? So let's say for instance, I go, Hey, I want to have a straight line from here. Press shift. Boom. Uh, Goes right across. Undo, undo. All right. Now the biggest problem is right now we've got this mask backwards. We need to invert this because we need to have the subject that we want to pull in white. See, otherwise the subject we're pulling is the background on this one. We don't need the background. So all we're gonna do is go into colors. We're gonna hit invert and it inverts it. Control okay. and C to copy. By the way, doesn't that look like Roger from uh, America? It Dad? does. <laughs> <laughs> all right, That's right click on that layer. We're gonna hit add layer mask, white full opacity, add. We're gonna hit control V to paste on what we had just used. Ooh, shut off that bottom layer. We almost learned that one the hard way and then anchor it again. What you could always do is copy that, shut it off. That way, if you got to come back later on and fix it, you've got something to fix. We're going to go ahead, apply layer mask. We're ready to go ahead. Control shift E to export. We got our gamer PNG. That's totally fine. Boom. It's set. Now, of course, you didn't call me on this one, by the way. 
uh, viewers, if you you caught that, everybody's like, he didn't resize the image. I know. Oh, sorry. I'm sitting there. I'm just. <laughs> I'm, I'm Eight hundred. We're gonna go ahead and hit center, resize, and then naturally we're gonna to want to make sure we scale the image down to one twelve. Boom. Scale. Control Shift E. There we go, gamer. And now we are set. So, in any event, man, um, what are your thoughts? How do, how do you think we did? I was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. My favorite out of all of them was the Luchador, though. I mean, but then again, I'm partial to the the, the whole Luchador thing. But to me, that's it, it, and that's the thing, folks. Don't get this kind of twisted. The he's basically showing you the steps on how to make the emote. Like we're not telling you go snatch a raw image off of Pixabay and use that as your emote. You could actually do like he did with the monkey, where you take two different images and combine them yep. or start mutating it. Really, you can have fun. And there's plenty of tutorials there here on YouTube. Check them so, out. I mean, there's people that are on like God mode. Let me let me just really share cool. one of the emotes that I actually have as part of my channel, uh, self-publishing with Dale. That actually was done with Pixabay images right there. Um, yeah. I ended up doing a stroke on the outside of it, and I had a background image on it as well. But um, that's that's the type of stuff that you can get. And by the way, folks, um, the free image resource guide is 100% free. All you got to do is sign to your email newsletter. Don't worry. Your email safe with us. We're not going to be spamming you with stuff. We only just kind of tell you the it. stuff. <laughs> yeah, we definitely don't sell it. Nobody's coming to buy anyway. So, so. Sometimes we even forget that we have it. <laughs> um, but at any <laughs> rate, um, get yourself subscribed to your email newsletter. We'll update you about all cool things and maybe even give you some more free stuff. Uh, free image resource guide. Go to livestreamingtech.com slash guide. So that way you can get yourself set up with that free image resource guide click the links and you end up going over to it don't worry it's a lot of legit sites i've used time and again and i've even given it to some of my clients to use inside their self-publishing business so um it's really really good don't miss out on that again livestreamingtech.com slash guide anything you want to add there dude not uh, other than if you have any questions or comments leave them down below we'll try to answer them here's the other thing you can always go back and watch us on replay. Slow it down. That's right. Where's that found at, Dale, on, on the YouTube thing? Over to the right-hand side. That cog, you can yep. Speed up, and you can slow it down. Yes. Because Dale tends to talk a lot uh, faster than normal people do, mm -hmm. and he was kind of going through that. But I'm telling you what, I'm going to probably go back and watch this myself because I kind of have some ideas now that he did the banana monkey thing. So I'm going to put it probably put it on slow speed, and I'm going to pause it, do what I need to do, what he's telling me to do, and then – probably rewind it, unpause it, pause it again, so on and so forth. So I recommend that. And also what I recommend is swatting this thing that's hiding my face or right above my head slightly. <laughs> that's right. It's the next video that you definitely want to check out. And don't forget to join me next Friday, same time and place, 4.15 p.m. Eastern time right here on this channel. See you then.